Good afternoon, ladies. We gotta talk about this girl. Uh, okay, um, this is um, this is Meryl. Hang on. This is Meryl by Noriko. This color is sandy silver. Okay. I have an out-of-the-box picture of it. I've tried to film an actual segment, but my husband is hacking his lungs out in there, and it really is not very pleasant to listen to. So, uh, and I had to turn off the sound, because I thought, you yeah, know, forget it. I'm just going to go out here, I'm going to freeze my behind off for just a few minutes, and uh, we're going to tell you about, I'm going to talk about this, this girl. <sighs> this is a new one. This is Meryl by Noriko. I haven't had a Noriko in many years. They were too small, they were itchy, they had too much permatease. Let me tell you, Meryl does not suffer from too much permatease. In fact, she kind of suffers from no permatease. I mean, seriously. But let me show you, this is Sandy Silver. This has like a, a nice uh, brown, dark blonde to light brown base, and it's covered with silver, and it's concentrated in the front. And uh, this is not a blonde. This definitely qualifies as a gray. And it could be even considered a, a light brunette to a blonde going gray because of the darkness. And uh, I'll turn around and I'll show you this. Uh, I can't stay out here too long. But um, the front of this is 10 and a half, okay? I'm eight from here to here, so 10 and a half. Uh, this might be a little bit longer over here, I don't know. The crown is 12.2, the nape is 5.3 inches, which is just a tiny bit longer than Caliente. It is 3.52 ounces. It's very lightweight. The number for Sandy Silver is 39, 38, and 59. Um, they say it's a medium brown and silver blend. Well, the nape is a lot darker, and of course it has the silver bangs. So let's, first of all, let's look at, I don't know if I even got this on good. I keep trying to, I keep sliding for some reason. I don't want to glue it on. The lace front, it goes, it's an extended lace front. This is a left monofilament part, but let me tell you, this part, let me put, let me put my fingers down here. The part is that wide, that wide. You have a lot of leeway in parting space, and let me tell you, I think you're going to need that with this one. I don't remember anybody ever saying how flat this is on top. This is very, very flat. If you're permatease averse, you might like this, okay? Um, I'm not completely permatease averse. I don't like a lot of permatease, but let me turn around and show you the sandy silver on all sides. This is an interesting color, actually. Okay, and let me pull this up so you can see the darkness under here. Um, which is inter it is interesting because the dark, I keep trying to train this. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do a better unboxing thing um, because I just want to show, I, do, I did have a picture um, and I'll show you the picture of what she looked like. When, she, when I got it, it was like right here. It was flat, <laughs> it was limp. Um, now the fibers feel wonderful. This is natural movement fiber. This is a new fiber. It's a combination heat friendly and non heat friendly fiber. The wig itself, however, is not heat friendly. You cannot apply heat to this, um, other than maybe the little ceramic hot roller brush, hot brush, that uh, the air tools brush that a lot of us use to t put a curve into the ends and such. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, it's an interesting color. Um, I, do I like this? Well, it's kind of a shock. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep this, and I think I might end up cutting some length off of this uh, if I decide to keep it. Um, my husband's going to freak out when he sees this color on me. Uh, but, you know, I am, I am 67 years old. Um, now, this right here, this color here, that. that color there, my blonde hair is still blonde. However, when it gets down to the to the nape, it gets almost this dark. It gets, it almost is that dark at the nape. It's blonde up top still. I mean, with some gray in it, not this much gray. Um, it is kind of a pretty color. But I tell you what, this Merrill is so flat. It's like a Noriko with zero permatease. Is there such an animal? Yeah, there is. Right here. So, uh, yeah, this is an interesting, interesting wig. Interesting wig. 
Um, let's see if I can nip it and get this. See this? It's interesting the way the colors play against each other. Overall, it's a very pretty color. If you like a dramatic, dramatic entrance, mm, this will give you a dramatic entrance with all the chocolate white hair. Um, you know, remember Cream Soda Blonde with the Beltress that they discontinued? That had a lot of very light hair in the front. Um, Tony of uh, Beverly Silverstone is not, it's more blended. It has a little bit of lighter color, but it's not this silvery white. This is, this is a silvery white almost. Um, definitely a gray, not a dark blonde. Uh, if you like flat on the top, I mean, I think you can get lift, but you're going to have to work it and you're going to have to spray product in it. And um, you probably may have to hang it upside down and spray it and leave it there, let it dry so that it actually lifts the fibers up. But uh, the cap is nice. It's got slide adjusters. That part and that uh, is is so wide. I can't, I mean, it was, it's very wide. From here to here, that's pretty wide. And then it, it curves and veers into the lace front. So, I got no problem with that. I like that wide part. It's just kind of a shocker as to how flat it was when it came out of the box. So, I just want to warn you. I mean, you may love this wig. I'm not saying it's a bad wig. Um, I think I can work with it, but um, it was just kind of a shock. The last Noriko I had was like, I don't know. I think the first one I had was, um, oh gosh, what was the name of the thing? I can't remember what I had. Uh, but yeah, so this color is, is quite, quite interesting. Let's see any of that, see that? So, uh, anyway, uh, not really a great review. This is just a first impression. And uh, when you get it, it's gonna fall right in your face and you're gonna have to work with it. You know, do the twist the, twist the back and, and get it out of the way and such. So, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I have not, this is kind of a, it's kind of a shock, the white, the white hair, but if you uh, comb it back and this filters into this darker, the darker color, and I'll turn around again and let you see the back again, okay. So, Sandy Silver by Noriko. Silverstone's a more blended. They're, the the Renea Paris and Noriko Silverstone is a more blended color than this. This is this is very dramatic in the front. Let's just say it's very dramatic. Um, if you want to make an entrance, boy, this will do it. <laughs> Girl, ladies, I'm going I'm going to go inside. I am just freezing. I'm so sorry. This is sort of a quickie one, but my husband is just he sounds terrible, and I listened to him hack through the 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 unboxing part, and I went. No, I'm not going to make it. Listen to that. No. So anyway, um, it is so cold. I got to go in. So have a great day, everybody.